from a process standpoint, Ken, I mean, how, how do we manage these multiple priorities when they happen? You know, there's a couple of things you can do. The first the thing is um, what Rob talked about is when he talked about the stage gate and so forth, you need to narrow down the projects based on your resource capacity. That's the first thing. Narrow it down from the top so I only have this many resources, so that's how many projects I can do. Uh, the next thing is few companies, other than Google perhaps, have unlimited uh, money and un <laughs> unlimited people. So you're going to always have to make trade-offs. You're going to have a constrained schedule either by resources or time or both. Uh, project management helps you balance that and what it should do, and if it's done well, it goes to the executive and says, okay, um, Rob and, and Pete, here are two projects. I can do both of them, but not sequentially. Here are the benefits, here's why I can get it done. Then you look for the sponsor, the executive said, you need to do this one. But what the program manager should do is give you some specific actionable information. I've often found that to be lacking, mm -hmm. and they make decisions based off gut. Well, wait a minute, then what happens when there are multiple projects? I mean, when I look at your innovation radar, there's not one vector out to one thing. We're going right. to focus on this. How yeah. do we manage multiple projects that are all related to the same innovation project? I'll tell you what happens. They all fail. <laughs> what, typically, if, you do, if you do too many. Too many. Yeah. Typically what happens, and I've seen this, where, uh, you ask them, well, what's the number one project? They're all number one. Well, if they're yeah. all number one, <laughs> they're all number 10. Yeah, and right. we just don't get the projects to fit our capacity. And I, I call it, it's like irrational exuberance. We can get it all done. And think if you just work harder and longer, it's fine. And you wind up multitasking. Well, you need to shout a little bit more and yeah, draw shout some a little big bit. pictures. Yeah. And what you really yeah. wind up doing is multitasking, which is yeah. worse. And you get farther and farther behind. It's like moving every program an inch at a time where you need to select the ones we're going to go after, yeah. fully resource those, get those done. Do we need project managers? on each of those new business designs in a unique way as well, so that Ken isn't managing 15 projects. You read my mind. Ideally, uh, you should have a dedicated team, dedicated project manager to get it done, dedicated resource. That is simply the best way to do it. If it's important to the company, put the money uh, where you're going to get the most benefit. Put the resources. And you have to get to market fast. It's speed to market. And the idea is, you know what it is, companies cannot stand for you to sit there for two minutes and not be actively working. So if I'm not working on your project, I'm sitting here for, what are you doing? I'm just thinking. You nope, need another project. A, yeah. you need, absolutely, you need another project. So that's, that's the thing, and the companies that have done it well yeah. have, have been single-threaded. They've worked on one things like, you know, at a time. I, I, the data that we've seen, the research we've seen, and the experience we have, I totally agree that if you've got a project manager who's leading an important, if you say it's important, then they need to be dedicated. Mm -hmm. And companies make a mistake all the time not doing mm -hmm. that. But there's an interesting wrinkle with uh, a lot of other kinds of projects, say engineers on projects. There's some very good research that shows that if an engineer is assigned to one project, if you can think about it as a graph like this, the mm -hmm. level of productivity mm -hmm. and the number of projects, mm -hmm. okay? So this is the number of projects. This is the level of productivity. You're assigned to one project, you're fairly productive, yep. right? You're assigned to two projects, you're more productive. Hmm. Now this is interesting, and the, and the reason is that now if I'm not working on this one, well I can work on this one, mm -hmm. so I can load balance. Mm -hmm. Second, I'm more creative because I'm working on two different things, I have more variety. Now, when you go to three projects, <laughs> you actually are a little bit less productive than you were with one project. Yep. And for every project you add beyond that, you get less and less productive. So to your point earlier, Ken, 10 uh, one-tenth FTEs, full-time equivalents, is not equal to one full-time equivalent. That's a very interesting metric. I had not heard that. And I can understand if you're working on two projects. Um, my experience tells me engineers would love to work only, only on two projects. Right, right. Project managers would love to do that. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, as you say, as it begins to tick down, it ticks down rapidly, and yep. most of them working on yep. six, seven, or eight. Yep. I hadn't thought about the two, but that that makes that yeah. makes sense. And this is when you ha when it's a priority project, obviously. Absolutely. And there are smaller things that look. You have to do this. You have to fill out that form. We're not talking yeah. about those things that everybody has to deal with, but we're talking about the important projects. Understandable. Yeah.